Well, the Unified Command just gave us a quick update this morning at 930, showing us their plans on how they are going to remove the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed section of that big bridge truss that's hanging over the bow of the Dolly ship. And they're going to be using that precision cutting that we've told you about, which is basically controlled demolition. And they gave us some uh, more information on that. Now, as you saw me mention in my video last night, they had recovered the sixth and final missing construction worker. So now that that is out of the way, that now frees them to go ahead and do this controlled demolition. And then if you look at the top line here, it says immediate availability is scheduled to be issued approximately 48 hours before the precision cuts will be made to accommodate safe media access to the scene. I'm assuming they'll probably let the media know either today or tomorrow, but it's going to be very close and within a few days from now. So they were probably all ready to go and they were just waiting to make this announcement once they found the sixth victim. To refloat the motor vessel Dally, the section of the steel structure that's draped over it and pinning it down must be removed. So to accomplish this, precision cutting offers one of the most efficient and safest methods available to remove the steel under such a high level of tension. The highly controlled process enables surgical precision here, and it consists of four steps basically. So the first one is salvage and demolition. And the teams have analyzed the structure to determine precise locations where the charges can be placed. So secondly, they'll come in here and they'll cut the steel at the identified locations like you see here. And the charges will be placed within these cuts and encased with a wrap to a large piece of tape. Then they'll blow the charges and the steel will be separated like you see right here boom and then they all fall apart and go into the water and hopefully it will get pushed away from the dolly if all of their calculations are correct it's important to note here though that this controlled demolition is not like what we see in the movie so from a distance it will sound basically like fireworks or loud thunder and you'll see some small puffs of smoke bridge demolitions before it's nothing new so this morning, the Unified Command also provided us with this infographics that shows pretty much what they're talking about and the radius that you need to be away. And so they're saying, is it safe? They're saying safety is the highest priority. This includes the safety of the crew on board the MV Dolly. So they're going to be sheltering in place. And of course, everybody else, they want to keep them safe. So they've got the circle that you can see there, that yellow circle. And they say that if you're outdoors within 2,000 yards of the site, you need to be wearing hearing protection. I think that might be overkill. I mean, you're talking about well over a mile away. But I guess they're just trying to protect themselves against liability. If you remember in some of my past videos on the Champlain Towers condo collapse here in Miami, I showed you the controlled demolition they did of the remaining part of the building, and it wasn't that loud. They only evacuated people within two blocks, and it sounded just like fireworks. Here it is. See, so that wasn't too bad, now was it? And yet, here they are, they're going to allow the crew of the Dolly to remain on the Dolly somewhere. I don't know where they're going to shelter in place, but I know it can't be all that loud and dangerous. Unless, of course, you are standing on the deck of the Dolly right in front of where they blow off the detonations. They also pointed us to look at John Z. Wetmore's channel, thepedestrians.org, here on YouTube to show you an example of what it would look like when they use detonations on bridge trusses. So he's got a lot of great videos on his channel here showing different types of demolition going on. So I'll put a link to his channel down in the video description below for you so you can go and make sure you check out his stuff. He's got some great videos. And then they released some more photos showing just how much work is being done now. I mean, look at all of the cranes dangling around the dolly and then on the other remaining section of the bridge truss that's over by the piers and they're just slicing and dicing and cutting and marking and going to town with it last i checked there was a report that said that there was over 22 cranes on site so these guys are just going like crazy now here you'd think they're getting paid double or triple hey if they are man i'm gonna go and help out i want i need some money so there they are they're just marking and marking and painting torching away, slicing and dicing, 
you can see they've already removed other portions of it. So that's why I thought that this is how they would have done it by the dolly. But I guess they just think it's quicker and more efficient to plant a few charges and let it blow apart. And then it's Miller time. And then a few nights ago, you remember I put out that video on the cars that they found on some of the shipping containers on the dolly ship. And man, did I get a huge response. A whole lot of you had commented that you thought, well, maybe these vehicles were stolen. So if you haven't gone and see that video, make sure you go in and check it out. But I showed you a couple of different cars. One of them was a Toyota Corolla that was looked like it was a little bit damaged there inside one of the containers. And then I also showed you a Toyota 4Runner. And of course, many of you who live in the Baltimore area had chimed in. They said, Jeff, you know, you, we have a big problem here in Baltimore with carjackings. Even if they didn't carjack a vehicle, many times the stolen vehicles are very quickly brought into the port where they are put onto shipping containers. And there's apparently connections to like Africa, West Africa, and they're just shipped over there. Apparently there's a big demand for some of these stolen cars over there so i don't know let me know what you think about that and, and maybe some of you in law enforcement may have some insight on that and why is it so easy for cars to be put into shipping containers like this into the port without you know bills of lading and stuff like that i, I always thought that that everything had to be done with really strict paperwork and how would you get past customs and also, don't forget to check out the video that I uploaded for you last night where I showed you several different renditions of the new possible bridge design to replace this fallen Francis Scott Key Bridge here in Baltimore. And you know, I'm always doing my best to keep you up to date with the latest videos and photos that the Unified Command releases or even the Coast Guard or even the Army Corps of Engineers. I have to go all over the place digging these things up. So as all of the salvage people here pounce forward through this schedule here, they're moving really fast. They're moving this debris off of Dolly as quick as possible. I have a feeling they're going to be doing this controlled demolition of the bridge truss across the Dolly as early as Friday. That would be a great way to start the weekend. And then they could probably have Dolly out of there possibly over the weekend. Now, one thing I wanted to remind you of, you know, here on this channel, we do a lot of engineering disasters and remodeling projects. So I want you to take a look at this video up here next. And this is a massive kitchen cabinet installation I did with double decker cabinets on the top. Very, very difficult. And also a 45 degree mounted refrigerator in the corner. You definitely got to check that video out. And when you're done with that one, make sure you check out this other video over here too on how to laminate your floors. So thank you so much for joining us and we'll see all of you on the next one.